Okay, in this video, I want to talk about modeling uh, optimization problems. And so to begin, what I would like to do is uh, talk about a type of problem you might see in manufacturing. Let's say we have a company and that company manufactures uh, washers and dryers. So we have a company that manufactures washers and dryers. And for some reason, the um, most washers that they can manufacture in a day is 10. So washers uh, here at most 10 per day. And for some reason, the dr num most number of dryers that they can manufacture in a day is say 15. And for whatever reason, the most number of machines combined that they can uh, do in a day, so machines per day, is at most 20. Okay, and let's also say that it costs $200 to manufacture a, dry, um, a washer. And that it costs $250 to manufacture a dryer. Okay. So you have some sort of problem that's presented to you by the manufacturer. They give you this data and you uh, are asked, well, can you come up and minimize costs for us? Okay, you might think, well, that's that's actually pretty easy. It's, I can do that just, just through observation here. But uh, the idea is, is how can we go about modeling this problem? Because real world problems are often quite a bit more complicated. So... How can we go about modeling this problem? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to identify the variables. So let's have a look. What are our variables? Okay. And we have two variables. We have one, uh, let's call it W, and W would be the number of washers manufactured or produced, manufactured, and then D would be the number of dryers manufactured per day Oops. Okay. So I have my two variables here. A little sloppy there. Erase that. Doing a lot of writing in this video. So I have W, I have D, I have my variables. The next thing I need to do is I need to take the, the constraints that were in my word problem and I need to write these constraints algebraically in, into linear inequalities. So we had already in the la last few videos talked about linear inequalities and how those could be graphed. And so now we're going to use linear inequalities to model an optimization problem. So what do I know about W? Well, I know that W can be no greater than 10. I know that D can be no greater than 15. 
And why do I know that? Well, it says right here in our, in our problem, in our specs that were given to us by the manufacturer, that the number of washers that can be manufactured per day is at most 10, dryers is at most 15, and, well, that's how we define the variables. W is the number of washers manufactured per day, D is the number of dryers manufactured per day, and then I also have the total, W plus D, I can make no more than 20 machines a day. So there I've identified my constraints. There are a couple more constraints. We're going to talk about um, restrictions on the variables real quick. So restrictions on variables. Okay. The Variables, if you think about it, we go up, go back up here. We have <clears throat> W is the number of washers manufactured per day. Doesn't make sense to have a negative number of uh, washers. It also doesn't really make sense to, to only make half a washer or, or, or a part of a washer in a day. We'd like to have uh, sort of complete units going out. So what we have are sort of our implied constraints here. We have uh, W is an element of the whole numbers and D is an element of the whole numbers. So if we go up here, we have that W must be greater than or equal to zero and D must be greater than or equal to zero. And we know that we're talking about whole numbers so that when we're, when we're graphing these, <coughs> um, that we aren't gonna be shading everything in, but we won't be graphing these in these video. We can do that in the next video. So essentially we've modeled this problem. There's only one last thing left to do. So what we have is we have uh, our variable is well-defined, and we have what here is a system of linear inequalities that we could graph as the first step to help us solve this optimization problem. The very last thing we need for this optimization problem is something called an objective function. Okay, and this is what the manufacturer is asking us to do. So we have our objective function. objective function okay and the objective function is what do we want to minimize or maximize well in this case the manufacturer is interested in minimizing costs so we need some sort of cost function that can be minimized so what is the cost well we, we go back up here it says that the cost to manufacture a washer is 200 the cost to manufacture a dryer is 250 that tells me that 250 w plus 200 d is going to give us our cost and there we have we have our objective function and that is how you model um, linear optimization problem.